the yield in a high tunnel on average, uh, just as a, as a starting point, you should probably double your production of what you would get outside. Plus, because you have a longer growing season as well, um, that also improves production and yield as well. The most common types of irrigation would be a drip irrigation or micro irrigation system. A drip tape is going to have an emitter every anywhere from 6 to 12 inches normally and you'll have a drip tape per row or a couple of them per bed if you've got a bed system inside the high tunnel. The pest management's interesting because it will reduce uh, some pests and some diseases, um, but it will also, some diseases and pests that you end up uh, not having outside as much might be more of a problem inside. Plus, if a disease does start in a high tunnel, you have to be on top of it more because it's going to spread faster because everything happens in a high tunnel faster. Not only the plant growth and the production of vegetables and fruit, but also pests and diseases. Because, you're, because it's hotter, because it's more humid, uh, things are gonna happen faster. If managed properly, you'll also build soil health faster as well. So less tillage, maybe a cover crop, making sure you're growing crops season long or as, as long as possible. Um, adding compost or residues to provide um, replenishment of their organic matter. Optimum temperatures for soil are anywhere from 45 to 60 degrees for cool season crops to 55 to 75 degrees for warm season crops. If the soil is constantly getting cold from the outside and you have warm loving crops like tomatoes or cucumbers, they're going to get cold shocked. Even the roots will and they won't do, perform as well even if the air temp is uh, warmer. As it is a season extension uh, part of our programming now, we'll be able to obviously grow food um, earlier in the season and kind of later on. So being able to keep management up for production as long as we can. And then throughout the winter, um, just being able to monitor and maintain um, the high tunnel with snow loads and wind and just being able to really understand how it does at this site since we know that every site is unique for how you kind of have to manage.